Hello, I'd like to make a quick video about the repair of uh, Samsung television model number LE32M87BD. The problem with it was that uh, it took a long time to start up and uh, it would progress, the problem would progress uh, over time so um, it would take longer and longer to start up. Uh, until eventually it didn't start up at all. So uh, the problem with this particular model uh, is uh, first of all bulging capacitors on the power supply. I have already replaced those. However, it didn't solve the problem. It was still not turning on. So then I uh, googled and found a Russian website where the problem uh, was described as this capacitor. It's one microfarad uh, and it's on this uh, sub board. Um, one way uh, you can confirm that uh, this is the problem after replacing the capacitors on the power supply is to heat, heat it up and I, I will just try now to do that and if it starts up, and I already know that it does when it heats up, it indicates that this capacitor is our problem. So after replacing it, the television should turn on normally and work just fine. Now I will try to turn on the television. Uh, I plugged it in and it, it's trying to turn on. However, it shouldn't turn on completely. It shouldn't Yep, it doesn't turn on the backlight and it doesn't show any picture. So that's the problem. Now what I'm going to do is uh, with my uh, heat gun warm up this capacitor and then we will see if it starts up. Here I'm heating the capacitor with my uh, hot air, gas powered hot air gun. So this is enough, now it's all hot, I can already see the backlight uh, is turned on already. So let's see if we have the picture. Ta -da! There you go. I just heated this capacitor and the TV turned on. So by replacing that small 1 microfarad capacitor uh, on this board, we should solve the problem. By the way, another common symptom of this problem is uh, if your television shows a picture like that. So if you see a picture like that or the TV uh, takes a very long time to start up and then eventually doesn't start at all, uh, that capacitor and uh, likely bulging capacitors in the power supply are the problem.